Hello, Cancer. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of July 19th through the 25th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now, Cancer, just take what resonates and leave the rest, as these are general readings. Okay, Cancer, so let's take a look at what's going on for this week. And we're going to take a look at your tarot cards first, and then after your oracle card messages. First card, Major Arcana card, the Tower. You had that last week. Two of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Overall energy for the week is the Major Arcana card, the Chariot. Okay, Cancer. So just give me a moment just to take in the energy of your cards here. Well, it's hard not to notice, Cancer, that you once again have the Tower card as your first card. But you're on the right track because your cards here are indicating you're headed in the right direction. As last week, the Tower card was an indication that you needed to strip off and get rid of what no longer serves a purpose for you in your life. And looking at the Tower card in this deck, for some of you... <laughs> Definitely going to be in regards to relationships. There might be someone who's, what I'm going to say, resurfacing, maybe, trying to move back in. And this is one final strike here at the tower to eliminate what I'm going to feel is maybe the last area that you looked at, Cancer, as to who you needed to eliminate from your life. Now, the Tower card is number 16, which reduces to seven. Seven represents things that you just have to deal with that are beyond your control. So this could actually be someone that you are in a relationship with. Maybe you were or you are currently, and you're ending it. Could be in regards to work. I'm picking up possibly a coworker where you might be in a position where now you're eliminating that person's job. So the tower card showing up again for you, Cancer, is an indication you weren't quite done with everything that you needed to eliminate in your life. This is one final strike at the tower. And once again, just pointing out like in last week. Look at the base here. It's not even touched. And the first two levels like beyond that are fine as well. They're intact. It's just maybe what you recently, let's say within the past year, what you've gone through, and that could involve a relationship, a coworker, a neighbor, a friend or frenemy that you're eliminating from your life at this time. Now, the next card here, you have the Two of Pentacles, which my attention gets drawn to the ship here in the background. Because this ship is coming in, Cancer, so sometimes... The Two of Pentacles is an indication to follow the money. There might be something that you're working on, whether it be in the workplace, at home, something that you're working on that might turn a profit. Maybe taking a hobby that you enjoy doing and turning it into a side business. And I'm just really drawn to the ship, which is actually sailing out of this stormy weather and the stormy waters 
And the rainbow here between the pentacles is divine blessings coming in. Rainbows represent enlightenment and usually always being in an archway, which represents spiritual initiation. Which can be the message of follow the money. Take that idea and see how you can make a living with it. Now, the Two of Pentacles always represents multitasking, being adaptable to life's ups and downs and just kind of come and go with the flow. But there is an indication here for some kind of opportunity for you, Cancer, as this ship is coming in. Now, your next card, the Six of Wands, a card of success. This individual's riding into town. Everyone is cheering him on. So it's getting recognition for something, Cancer. Wow. One message that came in is in regards to if you're in a position like a leadership position, and I'm picking up with the tower card that you might be you might be eliminating someone's job maybe due to poor performance poor behavior but i'm actually picking up that everybody is cheering you on at work because this might have been someone where everyone is just cheering that this person is no longer in the workplace so that's one message coming through but the Six of Wands is possibly getting a promotion, getting recognized for your work. And yes, it can be people looking up to you for maybe dismissing a problematic employee. Now, this is Leo's card in energy. So it's very authoritative, confident, domineering energy, very much an indication of possibly a leadership position or you're being put in charge of something. You're being looked up to, Cancer, for something that you've done. Now, this card's ruled by Jupiter, which is bringing in good luck and happiness, good health, good fortune. And with this number six energy, it's restoring harmony and balance, the love and happiness in your life, as well as six being the number of the third eye chakra, which is your perception, your intuition. So truly, a kind of success where people are looking up to you as their role model, being guided and inspired by what it is you do. So definitely a card of victory. But this is kind of only the beginning cancer as this card just represents one point of the journey that you're on. And there is much more to come. Now your overall energy is the major arcana card, the chariot. An indication to stay on course as it's going to lead you to further success, whether it be financial success, a promotion, just being a role model for others. And with the chariot card, it's an indication to take control of your life, stay focused on the prize, and take advantage of all the resources you have available to you to get you to where you want to go, Cancer. Now, the chariot card usually has a black and white horse, but what we see here is a gold and silver sphinx, a representation of what could possibly pull you off course. Now, this card is associated with your third chakra, and it happens to be your card. So the energy is amplified. This concerns your will and determination. And this week, you need to stay on course taking control of your life and destiny. And that's why there's a little bit more you need to eliminate with the tower card showing up, and then you will proceed with success and victory again. This is the seven energy where you're dealing with things that are kind of beyond your control. A few things that are unexpected as well. Now, the numerology here for your three tarot cards is number 24, which reduces down to six, which is an indication of keeping things in harmony and balance. 
Now let's take a look at your Oracle card message from the wisdom of the Oracle. And you received soulmates. Such a sweet card. He's got the key to her heart. Well, this card definitely is in regards to partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, but it's more of an indication of your personal growth, Cancer. How you'll be able to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. As this card's showing up, letting you know that certain people here enter into your life in order to take you to like the next level of healing, consciousness, authenticity, Cancer. And you will recognize these people by the strong pull drawing you towards them. So although soulmates usually is looked at as being the lover's twin flame card, soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for just a short time. But this card showing up indicating to pay attention to who these people are as these are your greatest gifts coming in. But the message that ties in with your tarot cards and your success is the alliances around you are the most important thing right now as you begin to attract the perfect people that's coming to support your dreams here at Cancer. So this could be mentors, business partners, helpers, employees, friends, strangers who open doors for you. So it's an unconscious co-creation and certainly what you've been waiting for, Cancer. Now let's take a look at which crystal your angels and guides have suggested for you for this week. And you received Cinnabar. This is a popular crystal showing up this week. And usually in regards to your work, career, or business. And I think... I have my cinnabar crystal. That's just one. I do have a wand as well. Well, could be an indication for the desire for a career change or possibly starting a new hobby or your own business or taking what you do on the side, taking it to the next level, Cancer. With cinnabar showing up, it indicates this is a wonderful week to think about those plans and begin taking the steps to put it into action. Now, for those cancer individuals who love the job that you do, or you have a successful business, Cinnabar is showing up to let you know that you have positive new energy and abundance coming in for you. And remember, as you eliminate this energy, there's room for more positive new energy and abundance to come in. Now, the last card here is an oracle card from the Wild Unknown deck. And you received the mountain. The message with this card is an indication that the mountain can affect you in two ways, Cancer. It can inspire you and enliven you to rise to new heights and seek out experiences, new experiences. But it can also create isolation, competitiveness, and an inflated sense of self. So the mountain stands eternally in your awareness, calling you towards the high peak. And in reaching this point here, standing upon its heights, that can activate the purest and the perfectionist in you, creating separation from those who you deem to be below. So, no matter how high you ascend, remember that it is within the core of the mountain that the gems and minerals and jewels reside. So if you think it's all about going up, you're following the fool's path and missing the miner's magic, you might say. So in other words, Cancer, keep your eye on the ball and keep it simple, true, authentic. 
So in summary for this week, Cancer, you got a little bit more to eliminate from your life and it looks like it might be in regards to someone. The Two of Pentacles is an indication of divine blessings coming in, possibly for some of you, a new job or promotion, a new business starting up. As the Two of Pentacles is about following the money and the rainbow is divine blessings coming in, as well as your ship is coming in this week. And the Six of Wands is being recognized for your achievements, your accomplishments, being that role model, guiding and inspiring others by how and what you do. Your overall energy is telling you to stay on course, finish what you started, especially with the tower energy here, eliminate everything that no longer serves a purpose for you so you can move forward. The soulmates card is a reminder that certain people come into your life to help you to get to the next level and they might be gone just as quickly. So be aware of these individuals as they are a great gift that is bestowed upon you. And the Cinnabar Crystal is in regards to business, so some of you are thinking about maybe that little side hobby or job. Could be something more. So you might be branching out, starting your own shop or business, whether it's a physical store or something online. Be sure to have the Cinnabar Crystal with you at all times, not just this week. But if it's in regards to business, carry this crystal with you. And then the mountain card, its message is luring you to climb to the top, Cancer. That is most people's goal. But it also, let it inspire you and let it let you to just reach new heights and experiences. But remembering that what's important is the core, what's in that core of the mountain. It's where the jewels, the gems reside. And then your numerology this week is number 24, which reduces to six, which is an indication that you're going to reach that harmony and balance that you so desire, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Cancer family.